midday, only the third fissure is active. The upper two fissures became inactive around midday yesterday. Last night, the lava flow from the fissure number three vent has traveled down the slopes of Mauna Loa and crossed the Mauna Loa Observatory access road. Right now, the flow is pushing somewhere around five to six miles long. Um, the height of the fissures there are on the order of somewhere around 50 to 100 feet right now. Yesterday, the maximum fissure height was between 100 and 200 feet. Again, these things were still early in the eruption when things are unstable, and we'll just watch it very, very carefully. We're thinking very, very much about, you know, advances and what would have to happen if it approached that community. So as far as preventing uh, any danger to populations or any people, um, we don't see uh, any need to issue any evacuations or anything like that. It's actually a great time to come. Uh, people are here, you're seeing some of the most unbelievable sights uh, ever. Your national park is open, it's open 24 hours. This is a rare time where we have two eruptions happening simultaneously. You're watching Pele come to life to uh, do a dual eruption. For many people coming here to pay their respects, this is quite a sacred event. Today is a cruise ship day in Gila. We, I believe, have the Pride of America um, docking shortly and uh, expected to be a, a very busy day today. So again, we really emphasize people try to come before nine in the morning or after nine at night.